In this video, I'm going to share with you if the Canon R6 is worth buying in 2021. <music> 2020 was a strange year, wasn't it? All of us really have got caught up in this COVID virus and how it's changed our lives for the worse really but you could write this year off as just being a bad year but in all honesty it's not bad everywhere i mean if you're a photographer it's been a great year for cameras we've had brilliant releases like the canon r6 right here which in my opinion is brilliant for both photography and video now before i get myself in a whole lot of trouble in the comment section of the video i do want to say one thing and that's to do with the 20 megapixel sensor and of course that overheating issue, which I've hardly even heard mentioned. The 20 megapixel sensor inside the Canon R6, I have tested and I've tested it against a 26 megapixel sensor that you can find in the very noteworthy Canon RP. Now I've tested this for both resolution, sharpness, and of course, image quality. If you'd like to know how these would stack up together, then you can check that out in the video showing above my very long hair. What about the overheating though? Well, good news is, since we had a firmware update not too many months ago on the R6, things have significantly improved. When we went back before the firmware update, we were looking at about 20 minutes or 30 minutes on a good day, if it was cold, and we could you know, record for that amount of time before it would then overheat and then die on us for a long period of time. Now though, things have significantly improved on the old record time front because you can now actually shoot for about an hour and a half before having to switch it off for a lengthy period of time. Now for a lot of content creators and video shooters, this will be good enough, including myself. Of course though, if I'm talking about everyone here, there are commercial video shooters which shoot weddings and things like that, where this just won't be good enough. Now my answer to this problem is, most of you will probably be using a external monitor, won't you? like the Atomos Ninja. And if that's the case, you probably know this already, but you can use the 4K for a lengthy, when I say lengthy, I mean unlimited amount of time using a, an external monitor without any overheating issues. And that's in 4K. So that's the great news. And that's my way I would solve the problem for those such shooters. Now for anyone else that's just saying, well, it's still not long enough. I do think that Canon will address this in the future with another firmware update, but only time will tell tell us Canon. But you know what? The Canon R6 is honestly a brilliant camera. I could just leave it there, but I won't. I'm going to tell you the reasons why this camera is so good. And they are as follows. It has blistering shooting speeds of 12 frames per second, even going up to as high as 20 frames per second mechanical. That is blisteringly quick. You also have the same sensor as the one in the flagship camera the Canon 1DX Mark III. That's insane because that camera is thousands and thousands pounds more expensive. And for anyone saying it hasn't been proven that it's the same sensor, no, you're right, it hasn't, but it most likely 99.9% .9 reoccurring is. And that's my answer. The 4K video quality on the Canon R6 is probably the best in its class. Not anywhere, but the best in its class for its price and for its range of camera you get over 5K video footage down sampled to 4K, giving you even better quality. And it really is great. You also get 120 frames per second that you can shoot in 1080p. Now this is gonna be brilliant for content creators once again, because B-roll is really important, especially in storytelling when you're creating videos for things like YouTube. I could go on with more pros about this camera, but I'm not gonna bore you with everything. But what I will say is there is probably one con, and that is the fact that you have to pay a lot of money, most of you will, 2,500 pound for the Canon R6. But I do expect that most of you watching this will either have the money already, maybe be banking the money as we speak, or maybe you're just doing a bit of online window shopping and you like watching videos like this. The real question, the serious question though, that we've got to ask about the Canon R6 and if it's worth buying in 2021 is, does it have all the features that a content creator or a hybrid shooter would need 
right now at this moment and for the foreseeable future. So you're not looking at upgrading or improving the camera really soon. Let's look at some of these features a bit more closely. So the 4K video footage, do we need that at the moment? Absolutely. The reason for this is, you've probably noticed if you're a YouTuber especially, that most of the content now uploaded on YouTube is 4K. And if you don't believe me, look at this. This is just scrolling through a few videos. You can see that most of them are 4K. Now, I don't know for sure if YouTube ranks these videos higher. I'd love to know this. And they probably say they don't, but they probably do. And all I'm gonna say is that most of the top videos show up as 4K. You might be saying to yourself at this point as well, what about 8K? There's 8K on the R5. There is 8K on the cinema line of cameras. There is 8K and this is very impressive, but do we need this now? And do we need that for the foreseeable future? Is this gonna be an industry standard? Absolutely not. That's my opinion on it. And I'll tell you the reasons for the size and the cost. At the moment, it's just not cheap enough and the storage is too pricey. You might get this in the cinema line of things, but we're not talking about that. And it's certainly not gonna be an industry standard for the foreseeable future. For the video side of things, the R6 has you completely covered. You've got outstanding autofocus, beautiful video quality, diverse shooting modes, access to the best lenses, and I mean the best lenses out there, and also C-Log for professional color grading, which makes a massive difference to the look of your video. What about photography? I do feel for some of you that the verdict might already be out on the Canon R6 and its 20 megapixel sensor, and if it can stand up in the photography stakes, but honestly guys, I've used this camera quite a lot and to anyone that hasn't used it, you just really don't know unless you've used it. Coming from shooting with two Canon RPs and of course shooting with the Canon R as well, I can tell you that the photography on this camera easily stacks up against those cameras and the quality is absolutely on point. Also, the low light conditions in this camera are significantly better than the RP and a little bit better than the R. You can shoot up to 6400 ISO on the R6 and you've got no issues. Whatever photography you may be, if you're a sports, portrait, wedding, landscape, street, architect, whatever it is, this camera is gonna be great for all genres of photography. It really is an all round camera. You have blistering shooting speeds of up to 20 frames per second, access to the best lenses for also photography and video, beautiful image quality and great Canon color, two card slots so you've got one backup and perfect for all genres of photography, as I just mentioned. It also gives you pro quality images. Not only would I recommend the Canon R6 to you as a photographer and a videographer right now, I would also recommend it to you for the foreseeable future. It has all of the features you need right now for pretty much anything that you're going to be doing. And on that note, I will leave you with, this camera is definitely worth buying in 2021. I hope you've enjoyed this video today, guys, on the Canon R6. If you have, give me a thumbs up or give this video a comment. Let me know what you think of the camera, if you have it or you don't. And uh, I will get back to you in the comment section of the video after I've finished. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.